My name is Lauren Willard and the name of my video is Congas and Clavis 101. Um, in that video, we like tell you history about claves and the congas, and like how to play it, and what's important to learn how to use the congas and claves. The idea was when I was in the Vapor program, which is where uh, actually it was the Ritmos program, and we played drums in there, and I had the idea of maybe we can make a video about the drums and how to play it. It's really fun, like, it's fun how you can, like, express your ideas and do videos. Ships in Cuba were made for Spanish explorers. The slaves that made the sli ships used the leftover pigs to make music. Over time, they rounded out the pigs to make the clave. Learning proper hand techniques is important for students to learn a new instrument. Like this. Now everyone go like this. Now everyone kind of just cup your hands, but don't make a tight fist. It's going to rest right on it. The area between your fingernails and where your finger first starts, it's going to kind of rest like it. When holding a clave, you don't want to keep your fingers too close together because once you start to hit the clave, it will wobble. You should spread your fingers apart. Learning rhythm is also important when you're trying to learn a new instrument. The clave is key to Latin music, but you need to learn other musical instruments to learn that music, such as the congas. The congas are a combination of different drums from Yoruban and Bantu cultures of West Africa. The name congas comes from a Bantu word meaning a da dance, a ceremony, and or a drum. Many historians believe that this name spread due to a popular rhythm and dance called the conga. Over the years, Duma Bandoras have been given names due to their size. Quinto is the smallest, Conga is the medium size, and Duma Dora is the largest one. Inside the drum, there are different sections of wood called stabs. On top of the drum, the skins were put on top, pulled down, rolled up, loosened in with water, pulled down, rolled up, and they will tack them down to stay in place. The metal rims and bolt could be tightened with a wrench which then pulls on the bolt, and then the bolt will pull down the metal rims to tighten it. When, when playing the congas, then you can use the strategy of undoing heel, tip, slap, tip. Both of these instruments are important in Latin music. Thank you for taking the time to learn about them.